Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here today with Francesco Galli Zugaro, who is CEO of Aqua Expeditions. Now, if you haven't heard about Aqua Expeditions, uh, you really got to find more out about it. It's, it's one of the best Amazon cruise experiences in Peru. And I'll let uh, Francesco tell you a little bit about the origins of the company and then talk to you a little bit about a new, brand new product that is just being announced. Uh, Francesco, talk, talk a little bit about that you have two ships now in Peru on the Amazon, right? Correct. James, um, thank you very much. Um, yes, we started the company five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we started building the Aqua that uh, was built in Iquitos in northern Peru. These are customized flat-bottom river cruises built to navigate the upper Amazon, so mm -hmm. we only stay within the Peruvian Amazon. And we take travelers into a seasonally flooded forest, only accessible by water, mm -hmm. doing what I consider to be the closest thing to an African safari experience in South America. Mm -hmm. These are water safaris, off on tenders, daily excursions, so something similar, of a, actually a mixture between a Galapagos expedition and an African safari experience. Right. We launched the Aqua, which is 12 suites, in 2008, and then in last year we launched the Aria, 16 cabins, 32 guests venturing into the same wildlife uh, destination. Uh, where the highlights really are seeing pink dolphins, howler monkeys, sloths, piranha fishing, the works that you would expect in the Amazon, but without sacrificing the creature. And it's, also, it's also a very unique design, your ships, right? It's a, you know, it's a, it, everybody thinks of river ships, which are all fairly new anyway, but yours are a little different, right? Yeah, they're totally uh, contemporary, modern. They're not what you would expect of a river cruise. They're huge panoramic picture windows. They're all 250 square foot cabins. And they've been designed by one of the top interior decorators in Peru, a guy called Jordi Puig, who's renowned for boutique properties. And together with the Navy, Peruvian Navy shipyard, we put together what's sort of a new concept in upscale small ship cruising. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking 20 cabins max in my boats. And we've been operating ever since in Peru. And recently, I sort of started venturing abroad and taking a look at other destinations. Yeah, so Peru wasn't enough. Now you're you have to find other rivers to explore, right? And so tell us, this is your big news now, is you have what? I've got uh, my eyes on the Mekong. Okay. Um, I'm high, besides being hyperactive and loving what I do, I looked for a new challenge, and I will find it in the, the Mekong between Cambodia and Vietnam. The, uh, the Aqua Mekong will launch in January 2014, 20 cabins operating between Siem Reap, Phnom Penh, and Saigon. Mm -hmm offering my same guests an experience of a similar level of service but on the opposite side of the world. Wow. No. Now what is going to be different from, uh, from your cruises? I mean the Mekong is pretty hot right now. There's, there's a, that's sort of the, the new river everyone wants to explore but what's your, going to be your new, unique take on it? Yeah I mean there's amazing operators all, uh, over there. All the big boys are there. I'm sort of the little kid on the block coming in there but with a very specific demographic of clients. Uh, it's an existing client, but it's an existing destination catering to one 1.6 million tourists, Angor Wat is, and that's the big draw. Angor right. Wat is the Machu Picchu of Southeast Asia. And where I was based in Peru, catering off to the Machu Picchu clients as well in Amazon, it seemed perfect fit for me. But uh, the vessels are small. These are 60 meters, but uh, only catering to 40 guests. Mm -hmm. Guide to passenger ratio of one to one, so 40 guests with 40 crew. And all our excursions are shore-based or water-based excursions with a guide to passenger ratio of eight to one. Wow, that's a very, so it's a very intimate experience. Yeah, right? they're 320 square foot cabins outside, day beds, private day beds on the outside, in-room dining, and really world-class culinary experience because we're selecting from two top chefs that we're now selecting from Vietnam that are already an existing name there. They'll be our sort of a celebrity face to our to our, uh, our product there. And similar we did with Pedro Miel Schiaffino in Peru, which is now one of the top names in the culinary world in South America. No? Fantastic. So, well, it sounds like a totally different experience that you're going to be offering. And I think your commitment, too, is you've moved your whole family over to, to Asia, right? I have. I, obviously, this new venture requires my eyes and ears on the ground. I will be personally supervising the construction of the boat, like I have in Iquitos for last two so I purposely per personally basically move into the shipyard I can't do that with my wife and kids <laughs> even though my son would like it but yes I've moved them over there three weeks ago we're now based in Asia and I'll be supervising construction as of September 1st fantastic well Francesco congratulations on this new venture good luck with it uh, it sounds like you've had tremendous success in Peru and on to Vietnam and Cambodia thank you very much and uh, look forward to giving you updates thank you I'm uh, James Schillinglaw for Travel Pulse.